I just got home from my drama, my acting group's Christmas concert and we had all of the kids there and they performed either by themselves in groups of like two or all the way up to groups of six and it was pretty good. All of my kids knew their lines and I performed as well with some of the senior girls just because we didn't have enough senior students so I don't know, they got me as a teacher to perform too and it was really good. Um, our piece was a serious kind of talking about war in 1914, um, Christmas and war, anyways, um, but all the little kids did fun, happy, cute things, and no, it went really well. I even have one student who, like, is so proud, he tells me, I didn't practice at all, and then he wonders why he doesn't know his lines, and he was in a group with two other people, and on his lesson on Monday, he was like, oh, those two other people, they told me they actually practiced, and I'm like, Yes, they did, and they know their lines now. So luckily he did practice from last time I saw him, and he knew his lines, he had them all memorized, so didn't have to prompt him or anything, so that was good. And then I have one little student, she is, well, she's almost four now. Usually we teach people starting at age five up to 17, but I mean, it's not limited to that. That's just usually like kindergarten or grade one up to grade 12. But I have a junior kindergarten, so she, yeah, almost four. She turns four this month and at first they're sitting on stools and then they get up and she must have like intertwined her legs under like the stool rungs. So she went to get up when it was her turn and she just fell flat on her face. It was awful. The whole audience were like, <gasps> and then she like gets up. She looks like at the audience and then she's like, and then she started crying so oh and then she went back down and her mom rushed up to the stage and she sat with her mom a bit and then about like 15 minutes later she was up to performing and she performed her piece so that was really good but oh my god I just wanted to like give her a hug and oh it was awful to see her fall oh my goodness um but aside from that um everything else went really well um and then after we were like having goodies, so I made cookies. Um, I only got off work really late last night, and then I had to go to the mall because I needed a new shirt to wear because all my students have seen all my other shirts, like dressy shirts, and they always remember. So I got this one. Um, I got it from Susie Shear, and it was regularly $25, and they were having a 40% off, and then I had like another discount card so it came to like $15 even which is really great it's kinda like it's a shiny purpley material and it looks like I mean it's very teaching appropriate because we're not allowed to or the teachers aren't allowed to show their shoulders so it has to be like this but the shiny purple it's um, nice and holiday and it has some ruffles down here and yeah I like it. Um, anyways, so then I had to go to the mall after, and I went to so many stores I couldn't find it, so finally I found this. Um, I didn't find anything at RW and Co. I was so disappointed. Um, and then I went home and made cookies and then iced them. So I saved two of them. The majority of the good ones, they all went to the concert, but I made Christmas trees and snowflakes. So this one, oh, you can't see, is my Christmas tree. And then I love the snowflakes. <laughs> This, those are the snowflakes, and there are other, oops, other people had nice cookies too. Some people just bought them, but mine were among the prettiest. <laughs> um, and then tonight, I can't believe we're already into like all this festive holiday season. Um, tonight, I'm going with my boyfriend downtown, and there's a lighted truck parade where about. I don't know how many trucks, 60 trucks maybe? They all put Christmas lights all over, they decorate their like huge, not like pickup trucks, but like moving trucks and like those big things. Um, and yeah, they go pretty much all around the city, but we're going downtown to see them. And then after that, there you kind of turn around and look towards the water, um, there's the lighted ship parade. So all the people with sailboats and powerboats, they put lights on their boats and they kind of go around and with that actually my dad um, he had a sailboat and he never lit up his boat but you know he liked going to see them so that was actually a family tradition that we did we'd always like bundle up when I was a little kid and we'd get a hot chocolate and a thermos and we'd go and see the ships so that's kind of nice and I haven't done it in a long time but my boyfriend's also a sailor so <laughs> he likes seeing ships as well um, 
So, yeah, I don't know. It's more I want to do that, not him. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight as well. So, yes, pretty exciting. Christmas, yay! And I got, I'm making my sister a Christmas present. Well, one of her things is um, something. Oh no, this one's for her dogs. Um, she has two dogs, so I'm kind of making them and like doing some other stuff. And she watches my videos sometimes, so I can't say too much into it. But um, I bought all the supplies to do it, so I already kind of had some supplies so I did a test run on something else so I'm excited to give this a try and I'm like looking at it right here but I'm not going to show you because I don't want to spoil it because it's really cool um I'll show it to you guys after though before I give it to her because she's coming on the 18th I think when we're celebrating Christmas early because she doesn't live in this town so yeah I'll show it to you guys before I give it to her or before she leaves again okay anyways I'm going to eat my cookie Mm, so, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Here are some all lined up waiting to get out. <laughs> oh, well, but not I have lots of edges. Now we're going to go on.